hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and we're gonna work on our tall journal today I need to get this one finished and then I have a couple more that I need to finish up and I have just pulled some things that I want to do and uh, put inside here let's see I need my I need my little book weight so I can keep these things down now I'm gonna cover this with some of the paper that we used on the inside and just trying to decide which one I want to use. I don't want to do a lot of decorative on it because I've got all of this over here. I don't want to take away from that. We may just do some of this vintage. This is a vintage ledger page. We may just do that. I could have covered this before I put my pages in, but I didn't but you can cover it before you insert your pages. And I think, I know on the outside I left a little gap at the top. I think on this I'm gonna go all the way up, I believe. Let me see. Just trying to decide. Takes me a minute. Have to look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way up because on the bottom I'm gonna put a lace pocket. So we are gonna glue that down like that. And I am just going to try my best to tear this off on the edge. And hopefully I get it somewhat near straight. I don't want to measure. So if I don't, I can always trim it or add something to it. I can do something with it anyway. Now, we did blue ink on the outside, but I think in here I'm just going to do some vintage photo. I just want it to look a little bit more grungy on the in inside covers. Instead of, because I want it to kind of match this. But this is a very old, cop well it's a copy of a very old ledger page. Yeah, I think we're going to do that right there. Now you will have to excuse me if I clear my throat a hundred times today or if I say something that is completely out of line <laughs> no. or if I say something that doesn't make any sense because I, it is, guess what, it's going to storm again here in Alabama. They're supposed to roll in here in about 10 minutes and I have got one of those headaches again. I called my doctor about them and he said yeah it's it's most likely the barometric pressure and you can you know there's some things that you can take but if I give you a prescription that's going to be strong enough to knock them out completely then it's going to knock you out too and I said well I don't want to be knocked out I got work to do so he advised some over-the-counter things that I could take so I have got some of that but I tell you, I used to never have headaches when it was going to come a storm, but now I can. You know, some people can tell you that it's coming a storm by their knees or something like that. You know, they've had damage to their knees or elbows or whatever. Well, mine is to my head. Evidently, I've had a lot of damage to my head. Because I'm telling you, I can tell you exactly when it's going to storm. I had not even looked at the weather this morning, but I knew we was in for some storms. Because the way my head was just busting when I got up. Oh my goodness. That's really what woke me up about 5 o'clock this morning is my head. If it hadn't been for that, I might have actually slept till 6. But it woke me up just pounding. So I said, I might as well get up and get something took. Okay, I had to trim that a little bit, so I'm just going to go back over it. And I'm going to go ahead and put some ink down here. And I'm hoping, I'm going to try to keep this in frame. I know it's kind of big. I did zoom out a little, but I hate to zoom out a lot because if I do, then you get, you get a lot of glare around the edges because I have to have so many lights on. So I just zoomed out as best I could, and I'll try to keep everything in frame for you. Now this little journal is already sold. Miss Gail has spoke for this one, but I do have another one in the works that will be very similar to this one. Let's see. That looks like the right side right there. 
Okay, I think I'm going to put a little piece of this paper down here on the bottom. Just put it sideways. I want to cover up that little bit because this lace is kind of thin. Or maybe I'll just use book page. Let's see. Let me see what I have here that's just scraps. I hate to use up my ledger page. I'm so sorry I had to clear my throat so much. I'll try to cut as many of them out as I can. Okay, here's a really, really, really old page. I think I'll just cut a piece of that and put it down there. So we're going to tear it right there. <laughs> Somebody wrote canceled on it, so something's canceled. So how are you guys? What are you doing today? Is it going to storm where you are, or am I the only one in for a storm today? I am tired of storms, I tell you. I don't think these are supposed to be severe, but, you know, it's storm and rain, so it'll get us one way or the other. Okay, I'm just going to put that down there, just so it will be under the lace, and that way that little bit of white there doesn't show. I could have inked it, but I'd rather put something under it. And what better way to use an old book page? Now I'll link this kit below. Um, this is our tall, uh, whew, what is this one? It's our tall journal kit. <laughs> See, I told you, my head can't think. I can't remember the name of it. I want to say um, lace and floral, maybe. I'll link it below if you're interested in it and it is for a tall journal but I've had some people ask could I turn it so that they could use it for a regular journal so I'm in the process of doing that it'll take me a little bit but um, I'll see if I can get that done for you because this would be pretty in a regular journal too okay I'm gonna put that right there and that will just we'll have a pocket there. I may have to put two layers of it. I should have probably grabbed one that was a little bit wider. I left my glue open and it's kind of yuck now. So I need to open it up. Sometimes I just forget to close everything, you know. There's a lot of stuff to close when you get through crafting. So Miss Brooklyn came over last night and she said, Nene, I have got 65 subscribers to my YouTube channel. And uh, she said, I put up a short video and she said, it's already got a thousand views on it. <laughs> she was so excited. So thank you guys. I know a lot of you are the ones who went over and subscribed to her. She is so excited. She is as soon as school is out, I think they've got two more weeks, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, she will be doing more, you know, crafting videos, full videos, not just her shorts. Right now, her mom's just having to keep her in tow so that she'll, she'll finish her work. Because if you let that girl go, she'd just craft all day long. She wouldn't do any schoolwork. I think she wants to be an engineer like her daddy. She can build just about anything. Just give her a little bit of glue and cardboard or something like that and she can build for you. I think she could probably build a little house. Very crafty. And Presley is an artist. She's very artistic. She likes to draw and paint and all of that. So they're both very crafty little girls and they love it and I'm glad they do because it keeps them from you know playing all those weird games that a lot of kids play nowadays and I call them weird because you know I'm older <clears throat> but to me they're weird I don't know I know to kids they're probably not but to me they're a little strange I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'll put a little short tag in there but I'm gonna let that sit a little while because that glue is needing to dry so we'll leave that alone, and then I'm going to go 
to the back and go ahead and cover this back here. I got some glue and stuff on it when I was working on the inside. Let's see, I think I'll do the same thing and just put this there. So Brandon and Melina and Bethany and Aaron are gone this week. They're on vacation. So it's just me. So if your orders are a little bit late, I'm sorry. I'm working on them. I worked on orders this morning and uh, did some work on some digitals and a little bit of cleanup for some of my computers because they were getting full and then now I'm trying to get some videos finished and some journals finished that I need to work on so I will probably be ready for bed tonight and hopefully my headache will go away I've been using um peppermint oil, essential oil, and it helps a lot. I put it on my temples, and it seems to help quite a bit. <clears throat> oh, and we do have more of these bone folders in, and we also have more of the, these little We Are Memory Keepers tag punches. We have more of those in as well. They don't last long. I mean, I had someone ask me the other day, she said, why don't you order more than one or two of those? Because by the time I get to your website, they're all gone. Well, we order 25 and 30 at a time. It's just that they sell out really quick when people find out that they're there. So it's not that we don't order a lot. It just goes really fast. So if you want one, go over there and grab it before they are gone again. Because... You know, we could order a hundred or something like that, but they wouldn't send us a hundred. They would send us probably 25 or 30 and then back order the rest. So we try to just each week order about 25 and that way most of the time they'll send them to us. Not always. Like the punches were, they showed them out of stock forever and they finally got them back in stock last week so they sent us our order that had been in there for probably three weeks it's one of those things that re retailers have to deal with these days things are not as peppy as they were before COVID I'm telling you not as peppy I'm, gonna, I'm putting a little ink around the edges because I Cut that one just a tiny bit short. It doesn't matter, but put a little glue around there. And then we're going to put another piece of this back here. Alicia and the girls are supposed to come over and help me some this week. Get orders out and things, but I think today they were celebrating Ashley's birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. I had Melina's birthday Friday. Ashley's yesterday, Brooklyn and Jay's, they have their birthday on the same day. Their birthdays are the 19th. So, May, and then of course Mother's Day. May is a very busy month for us around here. This is still not wanting to unstop. I'm down to the, like the very last of this bottle. And then me leaving it open didn't help any. So I don't want to put any more acetone in it right now because I'm about out and I want to just use all of this up. That's the reason I'm not adding any to. So I sent Ashley a gift card last night to Amazon. <laughs> Because, I, you know, she's just turned 24, so I have no clue what to buy her. So I just sent her an Amazon gift card because I know that she loves Amazon. And her daddy said, well, before the night's over, she'll be in there shopping because she loves to shop. And sure enough, 
he got a little message because she shops through his Amazon Prime. <laughs> he got a little message that she had already logged in and she was spending her money <laughs> or her gift card. And I said, well, that's what I give it to her for, so I let her go. Okay, so we got the inside of that covered. I like that. And now we're going to add a few things in here. On this, I think I want to add a flip out for more journaling space. So, let's see. What can we add? We've got this page that we could use to flip out, I guess. Nope, not that. Let's grab a copy down page maybe about that one that's pretty now I have a few that ask me where I get these copy dyed sheets these come from triple V vintage I'll think about it in a minute triple V vintage and I have had these I've had these for a little while I need to order more I'm getting very very low on these but she does some beautiful lace coffee dyeing and she does uses a very nice quality paper so it's not like a thin thin paper that's going to rip every time that you start to use it it's a good quality paper as you can hear when it crunches like that it's a good quality That'll work. Now, I think, let's see, which way do I want it to flip? I'll get it, I'll get it positioned in a minute, just hang loose. Now, I don't want that on the outside. I want this on the outside. So, let's fold it the other way. He was probably yelling at me saying, hold it that way. You're not going to want it that way. You know, y'all going to have to yell louder because I can't hear you. I got bad ears, so I can't hear you. Okay. So if we put that. Now I'm going to have to glue that on here, this side. It's gonna. It would be too wide if I glue it on the other side, I think. I think that's just going to be, I might have cut it, or I might have folded it too big. I think I did. Okay, we're going to go on to another page then that we can add it to. This one's a little shorter. We can still add it. Doesn't matter that it's going to be a little bit bigger. And it would still flip out. And we'd have extra journal space there. Do we want to add it there? Let's look at the back side of this. No, that's going to be too close too. So it's going to have to be that one. Okay. That solves that issue. Let me see how much glue I need to put on here. Put my glue from about right there right there let's see if we can lay this down here somewhat near where we want it doesn't have to be perfect just as long as it glues it down there you go and then that will flip out and you can have all this journaling space and then it will just fold right back up and what what I'm going to do is put one of these little Tim Holtz paper clips on here and that will keep it clipped together until you get ready for it like that and make sure that it's burnished down really well that makes it lay down too and then I think I want to put a little flower or something on this part just to give it a little bit of embellishment okay I think first before we put our flower on I'm gonna put a little piece of this and this is just some of that 
um, it's like a clear acetate sticker. And I think, like I said, I think I got these from Timu. I'm not sure. I get quite a few different things from different places. And then some people give me things. So it's hard for me to keep up. You know, I, I do have an old, old mind. So, <laughs> all right. Let's see if we have a flower. Oh, that goes pretty with that side. Let's just do that one. <clears throat> now, I changed my little um, pointy tool. You know, I was using this one. And everybody was wanting to know where I got it. Well, I, I can't find these exact ones anymore. Plus, this one has gotten dull on the end. So, I switched to this one. This is from Cricut. And I'm sure you can get one from Cricut. But, um, and it works great. I don't have a problem with it. It's still got a sharp point on it. I have used that other one so much, the point is just wore down. So, alright, that will work. Do we want to put a little tab there? Maybe. So, let's see. This is some of our little, um, tabs. I could use one of those. Oh, I bet that one's going to work right there. And I made these in different sizes intentionally so that you could use, you know, a small one, a large one, depending on what kind of tag or surface you was putting it on. Because sometimes tags are smaller and these big ones are just too big for the small tags. So I tried to make them different sizes. And then I fold it and I go ahead and burnish it down. <clears throat> and then I trim off this little part right here. It just makes it a lot easier to me. It might be easier for you to do it the other way, but to me that's easier. I think my voice is going away now. Put that right and I'm not going to let it stick out very much just a tiny bit just enough to show that you can use that to open it with there we go all right so we have the back of that page that's blank and I can leave part of it for writing but I thought about putting these little jars on here it has the purples with it and just use it as a side tuck so I thought that might be cute. I love these little jars. I do have the jars in my store. I don't think this one is not one of mine. This one is one of someone else's that I used, but um, I have some that I have made that are similar to this. So now we can use that as just like a little side tuck, and then you can have this as journaling space if you want. So that's taking care of the back of that oh uh, these I think I'll leave you can journal here you can journal here I think let's see I think I want a little pocket right here okay we can use this that's wide enough to do a pocket with and I'm gonna cut it off about right there or I'm just gonna tear it off Let's see. And then we'll save that one for something else. So we'll fold these sides in and the bottom up. And then I just take it and fold that over just so that I can see how much I need to fold on this side. And 
looks like I need to fold about that much. I got two. I do. I have two. Look at that. No wonder I thought it was so thick. I had two. I kept thinking, man, this paper is thick. Okay. So we're going to put that right there. I'm just going to go ahead and furnish these little edges and try to get them straighter. You know I cannot fold straight without using my scoreboard. But that that helps. Helps you fold straighter. And I'm just going to trim a little of that off because we don't need all of that on the sides. And then we'll trim our corners. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and punch a little pull in the top of this. And we'll ink it up. Now you could reinforce this if you want. I printed this on a like a 28 pound cardstock or paper, not cardstock. Uh, and I, I think it's going to be enough. Yeah, there we go. Just going to go over these edges again real well. Alright, there is the pocket. And do we want something on that pocket? Might use one of our little stamped. These are some that we stamped last week in one of the videos. I might put that there. Just a little stamp label. And I don't want to cover the rest of that writing up, so I'm going to leave that. I do have some tags that are already cut. I haven't decorated them, but I think that tag will go in there. And then I'll put a taller something. I'll probably print out some of that old ledger paper and put a tall piece of ledger paper in behind that. I don't have any more, I don't think, printed out right now. Let me look. Okay, I do have another one printed out. I'll just tear the edges off of this. I think I'll use my little decorative ruler. One of those days where I can't hold on to anything. And I'm going to go ahead and put some ink around the edge. And hopefully these videos like this, just the decorative videos where we're decorating a journal, it gives you ideas. That's how I get ideas is for my journals. It's just watching other people do their embellishing and decorating. Let's see. fold that about right there. And then I like to put a little ink down through there so when they open it up it really looks like old, old paper that's been folded for years and years and years. And then we'll tuck that down in there and that fits perfect. Okay, and I'll decorate that tag later before I send the journal out. Uh, this side I'm going to leave for journaling. This, I'd like to put something on that. I pulled out something a minute ago and I have no idea what I did with it. There it is. thought about putting one of these on there. It's like a tall pocket and it's made with those um, spoon silverware little bags that we have and it's just been coffee dyed and it's actually coming apart back here so we'll glue that back let's 
So we could put that down through there. And then we can make a tall tag to go in it. But do we want to put it on that side or this side? This side is more plain. I think we might glue it on this side. You can still see it poking out over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's glue it on this side. But I'm going to run some ink down through here before we glue it. Because you're going to be able to see that little edge where I tore it there. And that will just decorate it up a little bit. Let's see. And I'd like to have this out to the edge of there. And we could always use it as a little side tuck too. I'm just going to make a little mark where I need to glue. Now I know I don't need to glue all the way. So I'm just going to glue a little ways up and I'll put it down and if I need to glue more I can always do that. Or if I need to wipe glue off I can do that too. Okay, let's look at that. Alright, I've got a little bit extra. Now we're just going to glue this down through here. Just a little little bitty edge of glue to close up that little tuck from the other side. There we go. Now we have a tuck here. Oops, I just pulled my pocket up. Edith, it's gluing. Don't pull your pocket up. Anyway, we have a tuck under here and then we have a long slender pocket here. So for those of you who like to hear the heavy rain like I do, I'm going to be real quiet for a minute, see if you can. It is coming down out there, big time. Uh, it started just a few minutes ago. I had to stop my video for something, and it started while I had my video stopped. And it was raining harder than this. It's actually lightened up a little bit. But... Oh me, we may wash off of this little hill right here. Now, I put that on there just to kind of pull this purple over here. I wanted to put something on the top of that bag, but I didn't want to cover all that up. And then I'm just going to put one of these little acetate butterflies on it. And we'll put him, let's see, put him flying away from that flower maybe. Like that. And then I'm going to leave the rest of it plain because I want... I want that to show. And I went ahead and made this tag. It's just a tall tag and I used just a piece of the paper. I put a little tag up here, a little doily, and then it already had the flower on it and I just put that little piece at the bottom. I just folded the paper over and made the tag. It made it a little bit stronger. And then I'll stick that in there, and I will put some lace in that. I'm going to leave it hanging out. I'll put some lace in that later. So that goes in there. I think, let's see, Brooklyn is texting me what she wants for her birthday. <laughs> she is. She has got, has got me down. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to leave that to flip out, I believe. And there's probably places that I'm skipping over that I will definitely come back and do more to. But right now I'm just getting the high spots. I think I want to put this. This is just a an envelope. It's a tall envelope. And I think I want to put it there. And I'm going to put it down so it'll have a place in the back for a tuck. And then you'll have this little place for another tag or something. But I think I'm going to cut out a little bit of this because it doesn't seem like it is, it doesn't have enough of a curve in it to me to be able to get a tag or anything out of there. So I'm just going to curve it a little bit more, hopefully, unless I mess it up. And if I mess it up, I'll just cover it over with paper. No, that worked. So then we've got a little curve in there. We can put a tag or something down in it. So I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to come back later and put my paper or whatever on there because i got to decide what paper I want to put on it. But I'm just going to glue it 
down through here. Oh, I'm sure you can hear that rain now. It is coming down. Then I'm going to glue it close to the bottom so I can make some tall tags if I want to. There we go. I think one day I may just film the rain for you guys and let y'all just sit and listen to the raindrops. I'm telling you. We have plenty of them. Okay, so now you've got a place behind that you can put a tag. And then you can put some things down in here. Tags or ephemera, whatever. Like I said, I'll cover that with some paper later. I'm not going to cover it right now. I'm going to go on and I'm going to put this little guy down on this. And it's just another little envelope. And I think, let's see. Trying to decide how I want him. I don't want him to interfere with my fold. I think I can put him around like this, maybe. Yes. And then he'll flip out. Okay, this one again doesn't have enough of a little curve right there. So I'm just going to fold it and cut a curve in there. Okay, now if I put it on like this, when it opens up, you'll have enough room to get a tag out of there. And then on this side, let's see. Hmm, I don't think I want to glue it that way because I think I'm going to glue it like this. Even though it is a, these go sideways, I think I want to glue it like this and make a top out of it. And I may not even glue it, I may just clip it. Let's clip it for now. And then when I cover it with paper, whatever, we'll come back and decide if we want to glue it on or just leave it clipped. I like to leave some things clipped because the person who gets it may want to move the things around. Yeah, I like that better. Doesn't cover up all of this. I do have an envelope that I want to put in here. I don't know where I want to put it though. That's the problem. And I have some more pockets and things that I want to put in. I've got to cut those out. This would be a good place for that. I think. I don't know. This envelope may be too big. Let's see. If we glue it down there. No, actually it's going to be about the right size. Hmm. I think I may go ahead and glue it down and I'm going to leave this the width that it is because I'm going to add some extra paper on that and make that a tuck I think yeah so this flap I'm just going to glue completely down but then I'm going to add paper on top and make it a side tuck and then I'll have to put um, paper on the envelope, of course, to cover it. Okay. There we go. So see, then I'll add some paper from here out about that. And that way I'll have a little side tuck there and this will be glued down so it won't catch on that every time you start to put your tag or whatever in there and I'll cover this and cover this when we come back so that's all the decorating I'm gonna do today as you can see it's getting a little bit chunky but it's gonna be really chunky monkey when I get through with it I like working on these little journals they're fun you do have to adjust a little bit to the size because, you know, it's not like making a, a big one where you can put big pockets and things in. But once you get adjusted to the size, they're fun. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm going to go and batten down the hatches and build an ark. So, that, so in case I start floating off the mountain here, uh, we might have 40 days and 40 nights of rain. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.